<laughs> I gotta say, of, of, of all the goofy <laughs> Lorax went from Mill Tank. Yeah, I think we only get um, six characters. He's from. Yeah, we get six characters. So one too few. Beefy D Bunny says, "Oh, there's a thought." So yeah, if, if, if she ever stops producing, we have emergency supplies. All right. Space and Perfect. Mm, beefy girl. All right. And where could you go? Aha! Aha! <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> That's actually not, uh, it's actually not too bad. What if there's like special. Ooh, I know what we need to do. Let's do. Try out our new spell. Oh, interesting. It just immediately makes it attack. Uh, yeah, and his special thing is charge. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> Earth of War. And the fact that you can spam that so easily, too. No, very, very cool. Right. Alright, I think we got ourselves a winner, folks. Beefy is pretty good, Peebo confirms, yes. Yeah, that is pretty great. Yeah, thank you, D-Money. <laughs> uh, what was I planning on grabbing? Oh, that's the axe to get here. Alright, let me teleport back and send you back to Barn. Alright, that will work out nicely. And I might as well... Because now you can finally start getting milk. Right. Don't forget, too, that uh, if you ever go back there, the chip squeaks uh, produce items as well. Hmm. What do they do? They produce fur. Ah. It Without killing them, it's cruelty-free. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know we need a lot more lumber before we can expand our... Pretty much anything, really. Well... I guess this means that you didn't... Oh, I bet it's because you have all the oh, seeds. All the seeds, right. Uh, that's right, the seeds are in a separate section. Right. And we had two stacks of... Oh, them, and all And all the mushrooms, mushrooms stacked yeah. separately. Right, right. Okay. Alright, so, Proof of Warrior, I believe, is a uh, upgrade material. Uh, let's see. Let's sell a couple mushrooms. We can give... I'll say one of them to give a ninja mom. I think we can probably do make, make some food with them, too. And then do some apple juice before we go to bed. There's a mixer. Food. XP there. <laughs> I, I wish I had... You know, I know it's just a video game thing. Because you, know, you, you control your characters' lives in, in exact detail. I mean, they, don't, they don't do anything you don't want them to do. But I wish I had the energy to, it's like, you know, oh man, it's like two hours before bedtime, what else can I do, you know? <laughs> uh, let's see, onions are new. A uh, woolly furball is also soon. So I think we'll sort that through in the morning. And I will, however, check one last thing here. And yeah, let's, let's, let's stack the stuff that we can stack. And then what I want to do is put it put away like one uh, one of each seed like that was level six and well i might as well just sell those because we can't grow them right now anyway but for the ones that uh well i guess i guess i shouldn't actually uh, plant just one i think the idea was to have a separate uh, spot to use the the miracle grow on all of it and <laughs> yeah lorax two, two hours before bedtime gonna make so much apple juice but yeah, get a separate plot and, and put Miracle Grow on it, you know, constantly. And to m just make sure we just try to get as much churn as possible to get a higher level, a high level fruit, a high level pro uh, produce. Right now, everything is still level two, and we, we probably could do better. I don't think anything will be higher than two that we could buy from a Karina either, because two is the highest we've been able, we've been able to sell anything. So... Let's go to bed for now, and then we'll do that in the morning. Yeah, I really wish that, that I had thought of that before. <laughs> hey, John Doe. <laughs> Came for the anime dating, yeah. <laughs> I 
Stay for the sheep. Wait. <laughs> My body pillow is ready. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think Rune Factory is mainstream enough to have it, but you never know. You you never know. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, well, let's clear a plot. I think we'll just grab this one right up here, and that'll be a nice, easy one to keep track of. Then we know we want to keep the herbs. Or... <laughs> we want to keep our own little herb garden because we can now turn those into actual antidotes. Into, yeah, into good stuff with the with the uh, pharmacy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! <laughs> okay. Out we're... of my garden. So now we're to till first. Till, not a sickle. Then. Jamie can't uh, hoe all of it at once. Oh, can I? Oh ho! As it were. Okay, so we're selling the turnip seeds. Do that. And then we are planting. Planting tomatoes. We're going to plant all of these, I'm thinking. Corn. Just, yeah, just, just everything at level 2, and we're going to miracle grow the whole thing and try to get as much of a variety as we can. The chances are pretty good with the storm, we're going to lose at least two of these by the time we're done. That's sadly very true. Yeah. So let's do that. And I keep saying Miracle Grow. I think it's what Formula A. I think, I think, I think so. it is. Yeah. Uh, let's, oh, we got one of these. Why not? That's. Uh, oh, we already have. We already have three tomato planted. Okay. In that case, let's. Uh, Sell it, maybe. Yeah. So, whoop. So. Okay. Yeah, and then I guess I guess we should give the accessories we're not using to our followers, so I think that increases their stance. Oh my gosh, what did the storm do to our, our, our farmland? This is really, really bad. Uh, yeah, we lost pretty much everything with that one. We get two, two things of crop survived there. Looks like one survived here. Jeez. Yeah, the fact you can lose, you can, you can lose so much money on those fluke events is just... Yeah. yeah, like you lost a lot with this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I wasn't streaming it, I'd probably, I'd probably reload it for that, because it... Yeah, yeah, we lost an entire one, like, right, right there. Yeah, yeah, was there actually a storm? Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's what causes oh. it. The rain, the rains will, will do that. I'm I'm wondering what you might want to do mm -hmm. is actually um, take some time whenever you have a lot of extra, mm -hmm. and go ahead and just clear out more of your garden. Right. So I think that part of the thing is that whenever there's a storm, there's probably just a chance that it fills up each square, mm -hmm. like it has a, you know, X amount. And the fact that your garden is so overgrown means there's only so many places it can plop it down. No, I, I'm pretty sure it, does, it just randomly goes through it and tears stuff up. But yeah, we lost well over 50% of our, well, like saying, 75%. Our I mean, I'm saying that, you know, the RNG is either, you know, incredibly unfair, which mm -hmm. I doubt, or it, it, or it does work the way that I'm thinking. Which is? Like I said, I'm pretty sure that how it works is that uh, each storm probably generates like X amount of uh, debris that it's going to plop down somewhere. Mm. The wettable powder defends your stuff from typhoons. Interesting, where do I get that uh, key? I don't know if we can get it yet. I mean, it's possible. Because, yeah, as it is, that just pretty much ruined, you know, <laughs> ruined everything. <laughs> it did ruin an awful lot. Um, so we got that got that plot, but um, I, I guess also keen if you know you can confirm uh, Ben's theory or or not. Uh, D money says the money in the, D money says the money <laughs> in this game is in accessories. Oh, like like making stuff with uh, with your with your 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 foundry and or your your foundry your workshop and stuff and then uh, selling that. I, I just feel bad. I, I'm sure you could just fish and mine and everything to uh, to make your money, but it feels weird not farming. I can't have no idea how the back end stuff works, right? Okay, well let's clear um, let's clear these plots and just rebuild <coughs> and, and rebuild. That is what we do. Yep. Okay, so that's we're done with that one. It didn't actually rain that time. I guess that's good. Fighting doesn't do much, but we've made we've made a fair bit of money off of it. Like a lot of the money we just made there was from was from uh, planting. Uh, oh, we can we can put some of that stuff away too. Go ahead and solve this one. 
Probably saw a lot of the grass too. Yeah. Or you can just start uh, siphoning. Right. Maybe some truth to that theory. Uh, Keen had much larger fields than we do and comes out with fewer losses. Interesting. Okay, so I guess uh, yeah, I guess I'll just focus. Um, I guess we'll just we'll focus today to do clearing out everything left and seeing what happens. Let's let's, let's knock out our our, our, uh, our requests first, though. Right. Let's see. Yeah, at the least, we don't lose anything if we try it. Right. So we've got some mushrooms for Ninja Mom. We've got some some apple juice. We've got stuff. So drop off and then what do we have anything here okay we will sell sell the seeds i probably should i probably shouldn't have bothered selling it because we'll have to be replanting a bunch of stuff but if you're gonna might as well start over so let's get ready i need to do some monsters and aha excellent about time we got some milk Yep, and you'll be getting more as time goes on. Yeah. All right. And cheats. Cheats, stand still. There we go. <laughs> All right. I love how they produce this. Oh, we're up to full. Of, the full four, at least now. There you go. <laughs> okay, so. Sell this stuff. And do something with that milk, too. <laughs> yeah, Lorx points out, you're nice with the moo cow to put the milk in the carton for us. Yeah, that's... Uh, it's very considerate that way. <laughs> now that's soybeans. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, don't forget to get your Formula A as well. Yeah, true, true. We'll also take a look at that... For that uh, powder stuff that uh, Keen mentioned. So let's uh, do... I'm pretty sure you can't get it yet, because I haven't seen anything like that. Okay. Uh, let's see, Sophia's busy, Blaze wants help. Man, I want help, because see what the weather did? <laughs> uh, okay, I I'm going to check the other requests. So we got some interesting ones here. Sophia wants to play, if you know what I mean, and I, I don't know what I mean. Uh, Raven is Sundari. Um, oh, Mar oh, we're going to meet, we're going to meet our, uh, our waifu's uh, grandma, we're going to meet her family. <laughs> you know, that, that's, that's an interesting, we got we sure got a nice suit for our date, and there are, so lots of lots of ladies with urgent problems. So uh, chat, you decide who we're gonna help, and I will check the other bird. Let's do. <laughs> let's 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 help out our our gourmand uh, wannabe here. I would say wannabe. There's there's really no there's really no doubt about it. He's a very weird gourmand, but he is one. Oh, he's not he's not at his house. He is. Where? <laughs> Alright, Carlos, I, I gotta get points for the Hudspa of fishing in the rich dude's pond. <laughs> Is it the fishing contest today? It's not today, is it? I think it was today. St okay, it is tomorrow. That's what I thought. <laughs> I was about to say. Oh, Peabuck wants dinner with the witches. Let's let's finish this request first, <laughs> as soon as I find... He'll probably be poisoned. Oh, I bet he's here in the diner. That, did you just call for, like, a Domino's yes. while you're in the restaurant? <laughs> like like the one person always does in Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> yes, it had his 11 C's. Something made in a frying pan. You said you didn't care what, Sherman. I was I was paying attention to that, to the request. So for... he could eat burned food. Okay, so even if you basically even if you fail, it'll still work. Yeah, as so, long as you make it in a frying pan, he'll be happy. Right. I think we can handle that. I think you can burn some. Oh, oh yes, in, in game too. Uh, no corn flakes. Oh, if I had corn. <laughs> Gentlemen, behold, no corn. <laughs> um, yeah, this could be bad. You have no fish and you have no corn. Uh, we need, what we need now is an elaborate system of ropes and pulleys. Oh, you do have some fish. It, it would have let us do it if it was... Uh, we just don't have the recipe for it. I was saying, I mean, 
if you know that everything is uh, oh, oh, yeah. like just the fish, then you can just start putting fish on the frying pan and see what happens. Right, right. He says, so Mike and I were making Miriam's favorite dinner, a rack of lamb. Dun, dun, <laughs> dun. So you literally just pop the fish in the skillet. Okay. I can, even Micah can handle that. So don't use recipe. Let's pick a low level. There's um, some sardine on there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, we're not going to put apple juice <laughs> in the frying pan. <laughs> uh, you need to go to your. Yeah, to the, to the kitchen, right. There you are. Box, there you are. Uh, needlefish, sardine. Oh, done. Out. Let me use recipe. Uh, this is this could be bad. Uh, you have to go. There you go. Uh, let's see, needlefish. That's level one. Yeah, but it's hmm. it's crossed. Excellent. Yeah. And then I just realized he would have accepted the burned, you know, thing too. Did Holy you? moly! Look at that. Oh wow! So you had a ten percent chance. <laughs> I almost don't want to give this to him now. It's you know. too good for you. <laughs> there's, okay, there's a fried needle fish. Where's the, the failed dish? I don't know if that would count because it just made it a generic failed dish. Right. But hopefully he'll go. Then again, he, he's given us a lot of money before. Right. So hopefully Sherman will come through on the end of Fat Stacks. As a, if you will. Oh. <laughs> Yes, thank you very much. Ben's got onto our dad before for smacking his lips too much while he eats. Well, that's because, and I won't do it to the mic because I care about you all too much. But seriously, he is like really bad about it. Yeah, right? he'd be like sitting next to you and just like smacking his lips the entire meal. It drove me up the wall. Right. Ugh. Okay. I think that was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've almost we're almost able to afford our our refrigerator. Excellent. Okay. Well, yeah. Luckily, circumstances all kind of kind of a lot. The stars aligned, and we were able to give him a properly fried fish. Ten percent chance. Okay. <laughs> now, Micah, if they. <laughs> You know what they say about dinner with witches? If they break the cauldron out, then you know it's a bail. <laughs> uh, he's probably going to be the opening uh, doctor. Hello. Hello. Ah. <laughs> Young man from the tree. <laughs> oh. Oh. We have to bring... <laughs> An omelette, a rice, and a ketchup. <laughs> that means everyone does their part. Freaking libertarian grandma, okay. <laughs> Alright. The problem is, is that we do have some rice from the time that uh, Rusk asked for some and we didn't have any. I assume Blaze will sell ketchup. If it doesn't sell omelets, there's not really anything we can do to make them. We don't have eggs. I assume if we do, we would just need to buy some eggs, and then uh, we can't buy anything from it. <laughs> so, yeah, people have said, so what they said when they wanted you to come to dinner is they want you to buy them groceries. <laughs> <laughs> and cook them, because he wants a full omelette, not just the eggs. Right. And yeah, I was uh, watching a YouTube video of... Oh, what was her name? The Butter Lady. Oh, um... I forgot who it was, but basically she was showing how to cook an omelette. And it was basically like, yeah, have a full tablespoon of butter, cook the omelette. If it's overdone, just put a little uh, a little more butter on there. Right. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just imagining something like that for this. Uh, Julia Child. Yeah. That was it, mm -hmm. yeah. I was thinking, Julia, Julia, what was the last name, right? <laughs> more loaves, okay. Hopefully we'll be able to turn up an omelette in the course of all this bread we're about to scarf down. Yeah, and, and Paula Dean is notorious for that too, right? Yeah, yeah. Turnip Heaven. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> um. <laughs> Gorilla Shishimi. Okay. You're getting some pretty esoteric. Oh, Yo, so I don't even know what that is. <laughs> oh, we got two. We got two for oh, that right. time. Baked rice balls? For juice, okay. okay. 
boiled gyoza. Okay. So we've got gyoza, you know, five different flavors. Right. <laughs> and a sandwich. And a sandwich. <laughs> One you of these things with your is hands. not like the other. <laughs> I disagree with that statement. You use a frying pan to make, like, grilled cheese and stuff like that. Well, now that we have our 30k... Oh, but we need to save some for the... You know, a lot of seeds to buy. Let, let's re let's replace our farmland first. Right. Uh, oh, man. Because selling all of that grass and stuff will at least get you a little bit more point. Right. Uh, anyway, but unfortunately, he, he does not sell food. Let's double check and see if Rusk does. But if not, we may have to cancel uh, this request. Let the witches make their own freaking dinner. Hey, hey, how's it going? Man, it's been forever oh. since you've talked to him. Yeah, it has. We can't buy... We can't buy food at the diner. Can we, can we sit down at a table and call the waitress over like in Skyrim? Okay, uh, I... Okay, I guess, I guess we, you know, sorry, uh... Sorry, Peabug, I know you wanted to have, uh, have dinner with, with waifu and family, but we'll have to put that off for when we learn how to make a freaking omelet. <laughs> For that matter, you don't even have eggs, do you? No, 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 you're not right now. Then we can't take another one from the board today, so. Yeah, because there's the, um, like, one kind of monster that uh, drops eggs or uh, makes them. Good evening. Oh, now that she's closed. Oh, it's going to set me back two days because I can't buy seeds anymore. Good evening. And. Tomorrow's a festival. And tomorrow's a festival. Oh, this sucks. So, typh Typhoon ruined everything, okay. Um, well, I think the Typhoon didn't ruin things, just threw you enough on your game that you kind of ruined yourself. Yeah. Well, um... Hmm. So, uh, Keen and D Money and everybody, how, how do we make money <laughs> with uh, with everything with everything with everything going to? Well, like everybody, <laughs> like some people are saying, the real way to make money mm -hmm. is with making accessories and things like that and selling. Right. Oops. And not teleporting out of your. <laughs> but seriously, it's it's the usual thing for um, for capitalism is the value add. Right. You no. Know, you, I am pretty sure that your potions and herbs and antidotes and things are probably going to sell decently mm -hmm. well. Your knit caps and things are going to sell decently well. But that's, and that, you should be able to make those with the leases you get from beans. That's my plan here, right. Oh, Keen just sold uh, crops of cooking stuff. Yeah, and I bet if you sell your dishes, too, then that'll work. Well, the thing is, without without more crops, we can't really make as many, uh, many dishes. I mean, I know that you've got enough apples for apple juice inside. That's true, that's true. Apple juice isn't really worth much, though. I was saying it's still worth more than just selling an apple. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If in our capitalist economy, it's all about what services you can provide. Well, that's how it is for every capitalist, isn't it? Or, uh, thing. Yeah. Okay. So let's get these out of the way so that we can get the store, the store box. Uh, item box expansion. Yeah. That one didn't require much money, as I recall. It was mostly it was like 200 units of lumber, and that was a lot more than we had. Right. I think was the, the main issue. We'll get there. Yeah. Alright. Alright, that should do for now. On So, so we clear. I was clear uh, what, like, one it's or two more. Thing, okay. Oh, yeah. We never did give our mushrooms to a new mom either. Or one mushroom. I thought there was something I could make with some mushroom. I don't remember. Okay. Anyway, so let us put away the stuff we can. I know the arrowhead is uh, something we didn't need. Uh, Keen and can't remember if this was a feature of Rune Factory 3 or 4. You hold on the A button and you to pick up multiples of the same item in your hand. Gotcha. Thank you. I will try that out next time. You should probably also sell this thing and upgrade the... buy a new magic seed. Because the sword is already at the point where it, you know, it, uh, faints in one or two hits. That's because it's still level. And there has to be some way to prove it. Uh, there's no level to it. Oh, really? You just, you just buy stronger versions, huh. as far as I can tell. Because it doesn't say there's a level on there. Alright. Oh, 
Well, let's head let's hit the pharmacy and see what we can do. Oh, I guess I should check and see if let's see do we have do we know the recipe for the next tier of fishing pole. That's right. We need uh, we need sparkling. Oh, if I could pull that off before tomorrow, that would be great. I have a feeling that that's gonna be the, that's gonna be the deciding point. But where would I get sparkling string? Hmm. Do I know? I don't. I know we've gotten some before because I've seen it before. Hmm. I I know the goblin type enemies drop uh, drop cloth stuff. I guess we'll just have to make do. It seems like this is, this is probably going to be seasonal. So I guess we'll just make the most of it. So let's do the pharmacy and a bunch of potions. When we run low on rune points, we'll probably just go ahead and take a uh, run, take a bath if I still have it. Because yeah, I should have time because you know, time doesn't pass while you're doing this stuff. We're up in our drug lab. <laughs> And yeah, we t they go from selling for a pittance, to selling for a hundred apiece. So that'll be pretty nice. What stats does this raise? I notice our magic attack stats are still really low. Right. Let's see. Let's see. Be careful of your Yeah, yeah, by keeping an eye on them. We've been losing about 30, 30 or so per uh, per dose. We got two more. Oh, that was the last one. Uh, that was definitely the last one, all right. Yeah, because you only had the only one. had the one, right? We make some antidote. Well, I'm going to get some get our uh, RP back first. I uh, got yeah. Oh, what's uh? He's a different midnight stroll. Dun dun dun. Or Colette, yeah. <laughs> we should talk more. We should talk about things besides food all the time. See, the fact that she says that while well, she's got a big tray of food in her hand. Right. We can go get for a mushroom now. Yes. <laughs> okay. I forget how much time this passes, but I don't think it's much. Yeah, no, no time at all, actually. Oops. 300, wow. Except this is poisonous. Sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks. It's built up her resistance to toxins. <laughs> Even mushrooms know not to mess with Ninja Mom. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> when Pia has more to talk about besides fish, it's not too bad. Right. But then the game's like, oh, wait, right, fish. Ninja mom, best, <laughs> best mom. mom. <laughs> okay. I think that is an incontrovertible point. <laughs> Alright, so back here, and then like Ben was saying, we'll make some antidote potions. So we can make sweet powder. We need, oh, we need apples for that. We need toy herbs for recovery potion. Well, that's the same as, so one toy herb or two medicinal herbs, which we can just right. find. Or we could also but the do... fact that it's a higher level means you might get more. True, man, look at that. If we if we wanted to waste a six thousand you know gold worth pom pom grass to make an antidote, you you could I guess we could. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how much how many rune points are we losing for this one? Very little, so this will work nicely. So, how do you all feel about games like this, where you kind of have to mash the button and do some busy work to to uh, get kind of stay ahead of the curve? You know, for in this case, for in this case for gold, now that we have to recoup our losses on, and I kind of used to feel like I'm playing Sim City. You know, where you're you're going through the trouble of building up your town and your infrastructure, and then you know, boom, Godzilla hits and destroys it, and destroys it all. Right. I haven't looked at the exact spoilers yet, but apparently there's an event in in uh, Darkest Dungeons Town Events 
where this bandit uh, chief can like destroy your towns if you don't kill him, or destroy not, destroy some upgrades if you don't kill him. Oh, it's like yeah, wonderful. I, I, that's one of those things where you you have to add some element of you know of destruction that's out of your hands, like some setbacks. You can't just you know you can't just negate. There still be some chance of uh, failure. Right. Because you know, at some point you could you can learn the game well enough, especially in a straightforward game like this one, to otherwise not have any problems at all the entire game. But no. That reminds Lorax of a black and white. A whole lot of busy work to get the parts. Do right, right. I mean, eight. And Peabug is just pretty over crafting system by now. Right. <laughs> yeah, I will say that. I still think that, you know, crafting systems, you know, you have a lot of stuff you can do with them. Mm -hmm. It's just that they tend to be so overdone that it's hard. And a lot of them almost feel, you know, kind of shoehorn. Right, right. Yeah. I just get rid of them that first. Oh, yeah. Well, well what grass did I have? The yellow grass? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I was saving some for, for Daria, but I can just grab some. That's the thing. Like, you will right? always have grass. I keep thinking that'll teleport me back to the main room, which I have to teleport twice. Right. I guess one to send you outside and then one to go back. Okay, let's get a couple, let's get some foundry uh, XP in here. Or a workshop. Let's see, we still can't make the beginner pull yet. Uh, mm -hmm. Check the, uh, go to the thing that lets you make accessories, because you have that now, don't you? No. Oh, never mind. Yep. Yeah, we do, we'd have to, we'd have to buy that. I, I imagine it'll go here. So far, all we can do is, I guess, yeah, we can get some. I guess we'll do, we'll make more things first, and then before we pack it in, we're, we're running out of room points. We'll yeah, because you want to make stuff to sell, right? Let's see, sickle sells for one eighty, two seventy on the cheap. Oh, but that costs a lot of stuff. Oh, look at that! We could make another cheap fishing pole. We wanted to go grab a piece of uh, lumber. So 130. Adalax needs. Oh, we only have the three pieces of iron. Ouch. Well, drat. That is a claymore. I guess we could see if there's anything we only have one of. And. Yeah, that's true. I don't think we have a battle scythe, we just have our. Oh, we, we have an iron sickle, not a. Yeah. The sharper sickle reads grass. Oh, battle scythe counts as an axe. That's why. Let's go make that. I think that looks pretty cool. A couple points weaker, but it'll sell for quite a bit. As components, I think we've got at least. Let's grab some lumber and then uh, probably like three pieces. I think should do it. <laughs> the trick. Get the axe. Oh, we have it equipped. <laughs> All right. Two and three should do. Let's do four while we're here. Oh, look at that! We even lost half of it, half of the grass we just put, we just put in. Wow. That is nasty, nasty. Yeah, that's why I'm you know why I want to at least try to experiment. Thing. See if it helps out at all. I think that was a total of. Four medicinal, yeah, four medicinal, let's get one more antidote. Yep. Then that'll give us a nice even number. Right. Make four recovery. A one antidote. But yeah, it's like, I, I kind of with you guys, it's like I, when when we were playing, Ben and I were playing, kind of playing Skyrim at the same time, and comparing notes a bit, and it's like he wanted to do a lot with the alchemy system, but it is just so much busy work. Right. And the game, the game is just not designed to help you manage that stuff. <laughs> Battle site. Hundred percent chance. So, well, well pleased about that. That cost us an, a cool fifty room points, and we only had the one uh, hard horn. Okay. Let's see if we can upgrade that a bit. It would be nice to get it to improve our axe type of weapons. Suits. Okay. That's our item. And for material, use our 
forge in. So, okay, we can check this out. Attack in defense. Attack in a higher degree of defense. Attack. Speckled skin. Interesting you can use that as a component. Oh, you can't. Yeah. I was about to say, that would have been really weird if you could. Mm -hmm. Strong strength. Allow HP to drain, leave you vulnerable to critical. So what if that even is? Cloth. A silver would be... I guess, I guess that's true, we can make a silver uh, sickle. Because yeah, it doesn't use up the... Let's close that down so I can keep an eye on our room points for this. <laughs> Oof, that was like half of them. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to stop there. So, man, yeah, that, that, that sucked. So I got more things of, of lumber and put them away then. Oh, let's also try out that thing that holding down the A button. Actually, you should have done that a little bit earlier because I would have gotten all three of those. This looks like it works, though. Oh. Well, we can stack them up before having to put them away. That is good, but it doesn't look like you can hold it down to do anything, though. I wonder if maybe let's uh, try. Oh, let's see, make, keep it on my room points. Uh, don't forget that you can do the. Uh, I guess if you're watching room points. It makes sense. I was going to say you can just take all of the. Use the axe, hit all of them in a row. Right. That's, that's not so bad. So yeah, holding holding A doesn't work, but it does work to just press it without having to put it put. To put each individual one away. Right. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh out there. Oh, cool. Alright. Hold a night and then Oop. Oop do the best we can fishing, despite only having a level one a level one rod to work with. <laughs> 